Okay, here we are back at, uh, whatever this place is, potential number one. How did I forget so easily? Um, we already been through this once before. Dumbass Rick. Uh, Dumbass Rick went and forgot to. God, right in the eye again. I forgot to uh, copy the flight video over to the computer, so I lost all of my flight footage from that day. That, and that was so good, too. I am so disappointed in myself for that. Can't even begin to tell you. Anyway, this here is Madame Le Tricopter. Uh, and I haven't yet gotten footage of her in actual flight. But, that's why we're here. It's a little windy out here today, but uh, I'm going to do my best. I've been practicing on the sim, and I'm getting better. No ways to go. Got armed. Okay, good girl. Now, check her out. She's got uh, three, uh, what are these? RC timer BL2830 slash R slash R slash 13 850kv motors three of those um oh i got a pointer stick uh turn g plush 25 amp escs uh that there's a turn g 2200 mah the battery of choice for everything uh sky air tech <laughs> sky air tech sky fun receiver 72 megahertz that keeps getting used on every stupid project. I've got a 2.4 gigahertz one coming, so that'll replace that. And I really don't like that on here, but oh well, it's what I had. That's a Bluebird something or other uh, Metal Gear Servo running the tail router there, you can see. Uh, deep down inside here that you can't see because of the glare of the sun, maybe that's a little better. Uh, that's a KK Blackboard 5.5. Tricopter 1.5 firmware on it, I think. But I'm not entirely sure. And that there is a cool little uh, LiPo, low LiPo alarm that I got from... Uh, where did I get that from? I think I got that from eBay. It's adjustable. I don't know if you can see it there. But anywhere from 2.7 to 3.8. Eight, which is real nice. You can set it right where you want it, and you don't have to put up with, oh, there goes alarm, oh, there goes the battery, which is what happens with those 3.3 volt pieces of shit. Anyway, here we go. You're gonna love this. This looked so cool before. <laughs> I gotta be easy because it's pretty windy. It's like, I don't know, 10 to 15 out here. But you'll see, she flies like a dream. Right on out of here. Whoa, hello. I'm not so good when it's coming at me, so I better face her into the wind and do it that way. There she goes. Isn't that cool? That's very cool. <laughs> Look at that, isn't that sweet? She flies really well. Of course, better in less wind, but eh, I'll take what I can get, right? And a nice gentle down to the concrete. Every time I fly this thing, my blood pressure is going through the roof. I already crashed it twice. Uh, these arms were 18 inches long, now they're 12 because this morning I ran out of battery and it fell out of the sky 50 feet to the ground. Boy, this got windy out here. It's like pushing 20, I'd say, or above. Uh, anyway, uh, she went a long way down. And, uh, and you know what? I really like it. Works well. And look at her bite that went, man. 
she don't care. This is good in the wind. Very good. Can't wait to get a camera on her for FPV. It's going to be big fun. Easy there, baby. Not so good on my landings. Power handling and all that. I've still got to work on a lot of things. She is working much better than she was. I had uh, loose wire everywhere well, while I was at it with the uh, um, cutting of the arms. I decided to neaten up the wire, so uh, all the cross interference I was getting, that's much better too.